What's up, wrestling fans, marks, smarts, workers, bookers, managers, refs, valets, announcers, commentators, timekeepers, and of course, you always got to give love to the boys and girls of the ring crew. I am Matt F. and Wallace, and today we are unboxing the January 2018 That Wrestling Club. It is the monthly wrestling subscription box that reeks of awesome, uh, and that is uh, where you can find it on the web. Of course, if you're interested in getting this, I'll put all the uh, pricing information in the description below. Uh, they do a heavyweight box and a cruiserweight box. This is the heavyweight box. This is uh, my third or fourth time getting this one. And I got to say, so far, uh, that wrestling club, probably uh, right up there with uh, my favorite monthly wrestling sub boxes. Probably like this and WrestleCrate would be my top two favorites. Um, not counting Lucha Loot, which is very specific, but like for all purpose wrestling... Uh, this one has impressed me a lot so far. Um, I don't know that there's a uh, theme this month, but uh, we'll just crack into it and we'll find out. Hope everybody dug uh, Raw 25 last night. I'm all about that nostalgia, which is one of the reasons I like these boxes so much. So when you cut the tape and you open up this bad boy, this is what you're going to see. It is a t-shirt. And that's never a bad thing. So, we're going to take the t-shirt out and set that aside for the main event. Oh, so I, uh, I'm remembering now. I heard this was a thing they were going to be doing in the boxes. They promised uh, in the heavyweight box, I believe, we'd be getting an elite action figure. And that's exactly what we have here. It is Kevin Owens... KO himself, formerly Kevin Steen, uh, who I've always been a huge mark for because I'm all about repping my uh, fat guy workers, having been a fat guy worker myself. All about the fat guys out there showing, it, showing everybody that the big guys can do it all and do it just as well. Uh, so that's really cool. So yeah, that is, uh, and that is your elite collection, uh, Kevin Owens. You can see there's his actual mug on the side there. The big, burly, bear-looking bastard. Uh, huge fan. So glad that he finally made it to the show and is doing so well. Because uh, he is so not who Vince likes pushing to the top. But uh, sometimes when you have talent, you just can't deny it. So that is series number 53. And again, that is the Elite Collection. Uh, and that's a, that's a really cool thing uh, to, have in, to have in the box. That's a lot of your value right there. Uh, it's a cool thing that that wrestling club uh, hooked up. Uh, I like that wrestling club because like WrestleCrate and, and, uh, and some of the other boxes, they really go to a lot of trouble to try to curate uh, cool, unique stuff for their boxes. Now, I know you can, of course, go and buy these, but this is, this is a cool thing to get uh, in your box. Um, I'm not a huge... I, I mean, that's not true. I love action figures, but like I have a quota for the amount of action figures I can own because my wife uh, forces me to confine all of my crap to my office. It's not allowed to propagate in the rest of the house. So there is a very strong chance, I'm not promising, but there's a very strong chance that this, uh, this elite Kevin Owens action figure will wind up in my uh, prize box for next month uh, for you subscribers and regular viewers out there. Very cool. So that's your elite collection, Kevin Owens uh, action figure. Um, we also have our pin. We have two pins. We have two pins? That's very interesting. Uh, okay. So we have two pins for the month. That is, uh, is that Evil Doink? No, that's not Doink. That's, no, that's, jo uh, that's Joker Colors. Oh, okay, hold on. I get, oh, so this is, uh, that's, okay. So that's like a mashup of, like, the Joker from Batman and, like, Finn Balor's Demon King gimmick, right? I assume it'll say on the spoiler card, but that's what I'm thinking that is. That's pretty badass. That's a badass pen right there. Let me make sure it focuses. So it's definitely the Joker, and I think with the the tassels and everything that they're going for Finn Balor as the Demon King and Joker makeup, which Finn Balor should totally do for a pay-per-view, by the way. That is a fantastic idea. If he hasn't already, I don't think he's ever done that. Because, you know, copyright issues. So that's your pin for the month, but hold on, because we have another pin. We have two pins. And this is, uh, that's Scott Hall. Didn't we get this one already? I feel like we got, so that's a Scott Hall, Outsiders uh, Scott Hall pin. I'm trying to get it to focus. Um, and I feel like we got this one already, only he was a lot darker. He looked black. 
Um, I think I remember commenting on that actually, that it was he looked really dark, and it was cool that they were committing to the dark skin and not like whitewashing him, even though Scott Hall is technically a white guy. This is much lighter. So is this like a reissue? Did they do it? Did they do it too dark? So they're reissuing the pin, a corrected version of the pin with the right level of tan on it. Is that what's happening? Um, that's very confusing. Uh, and I feel really like I feel like I'm too white to be talking about this. To be honest with you, I don't know like where the racist line is on this one. So we got we definitely got this pin. And he was a lot darker, and now we've gotten the same... This is the same pin, if I'm not mistaken. Only he's a lot lighter. So I'm going to assume that what happened is they realized they had made Scott Hall black, and he isn't black, so they made him white and slightly tanned, I guess, a little bit. Um, of course, now people will probably say he's too white. I don't, I don't know. That's very strange. So I assume that that's what happened. We've been reissued our Scott Hall pin with a corrected skin tone. <coughs> and I don't know if that's uh, like really racist or just really accurate. I don't, I don't know what the line is. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know. Let me know what you think about correcting Scott Hall's skin pigmentation in the pin reissue that they've done. It's a cool pin. I like the outsider Scott Hall. I'm just a little confused. Um, so we have... An autograph, uh, as we usually do. Oh, we've got some more stuff down here. So this is the autograph. Oh, son. It's my other wife. It's Nia Jax. Uh, my second wife. And I can say that because if you ask my wife, she would say the same thing about her. She would say Nia Jax is her second wife. <laughs> and I'm her first wife. So I can get away with that shit. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, yeah, I love, I worship at Nia Jax's feet, and I would if she was here. She's amazing. Uh, they have no idea what to do with her, which is true for most of the amazing women on the WWE roster. Um, she should be the easiest, uh, women's heel in the world to book. She is the best and only monster heel in the women's division. You know, you, how, how hard is that? You book her like Vader. You know, you do Flair and Vader from Starcade 93, and you have an actual Flair. So you just literally do that. Or, you know, the thing they were doing with Alexa Bliss. That was basically Shawn Michaels and Diesel. How do you fail to make her the women's version of Diesel? How do you not? I was happy when I heard she was leaving WWE because they, they have no idea what to do with her, and she's so amazing. So that's your Nia Jax autograph. That's amazing. That will go on the wall uh, in my office next to my wedding photos. I'm just kidding, baby, if you're watching this. I love my wife dearly, but we both love Nia Jax. So very cool. Um, we also have what looks like a little art print. Nolanium 2016. It's a Kevin Owens art print to go along with our Kevin Owens Elite action figure. That's very cool. I dig that, uh, I dig that style. That kind of comic book, almost pseudo anime kind of style. It reminds me of the Goon a lot if you read the Goon comics. But that's that's really cool. So that's Kevin Owens. Uh, didn't scale him down. Made him the big fat bastard that he is. I appreciate that because again, fat workers for life. Hashtag fat workers for life. Let's let's get that trending on Twitter. So cool. Um, and then we've got our spoiler card at the bottom here, which we'll set aside. And we'll get to our t-shirts, and this is, uh, so this is a Gilded Heavy Cotton Tearaway. It's kind of a, uh, mocha, which I'll go with all day. And, uh, let's see what we got. Bam! What do we think? Is it cool? Oh, cool. So we've got the Beard Guide to Wrestling. All right, I'm already in love with this. That's badass. And it's a 4X, so again, I could actually wear it. Fuck you, Slam Crate. Oh, that's really cool. So what have, who have we got? <laughs> so it's it's all the famous beards from wrestling. We've got Hogan. We've got, uh, so the Hogan, the, the Rude, the Anvil, the Brian, the Steiner, the Eddie. Eddie Guerrero. Ah, oh, man. Now I feel sad. The Savage, the Fuji, the Sheik, the Foley, the Hardy, the Zeb. They even did Zeb Coulter. The Hacksaw, the Lou, Captain Lou Albana, respect. The Honky Tonk, and the Razor. So you've got all the best uh, beard styles uh, from wrestling's past and present. Sorry, Bray, you didn't make the list, but uh, these, are all, these are all legends. You've got a way to go. Uh, but that's very cool. I love this t-shirt. That is, that is awesome. That is the kind of t-shirt I really love. That's that kind of unique, 
uh, kind of funny play on wrestling. It's the kind of thing you don't see every day. So that's your The Beards of Wrestling t-shirt. Very cool. So that's your January 2018 That Wrestling Club. Impresses always with the box. Uh, we've got our, so this is really cool. This is uh, the spoiler card. <coughs> and it says the list for January. They've done it like Chris Jericho's infamous list. And they've even made the other side look like uh, a clipboard with the list on it. So yeah, let's do some quick uh, recap. So for the heavyweight box, again, they do a heavyweight box and then they do a less expensive cruiserweight box with less stuff in it. Heavyweight box, you have your WWE Elite Action figure, and uh, I assume there were probably different ones that people could get. I got Kevin Owens, which is very cool, because I love Kevin Owens. Uh, if I had gotten, like, Roman Reigns or some shit, I would have been really upset. Um, and you've got your Beard Guide to Wrestling shirt in your heavyweight box. If you got the Cruiserweight box, uh, you didn't get those things, but you got the rest of the stuff. You got the, uh, the Nia Jax autograph. And again, they have a picture of her signing the thing, which I always appreciate when they include that, for authenticity's sake. Your Nia Jax autograph. Oh, if you got the Cruiserweight box, you got a WWE basic figure. You didn't get the Elite, but you got a basic figure. Very cool, that wrestling club. I like that they did that. And uh, you also got your stupid idiot <laughs> 6x8 art print, which I assume is the studio that created this. And the artist is Nolanium. Uh, but that's really cool. And it doesn't specify Kevin Owens, so I don't know if, if the art print was based on the figure you got, since it's the same as the figure. If that's what they did, that was a really cool idea, and I like that a lot. And I like when they shake things up like that. It adds variety to the box. That's really cool. Um, oh, they also, so that wrestling club also does a small package lapel pin option. If you just want to sign up, I think for like 10 bucks, you get their pin every month. Um, and the pin this month was Balor the Joke uh, mashup. So yeah, I called that. That was That's a mashup of uh, Finn Balor and the Joker, and they do not mention the Scott Hall pin on the spoiler card, so I have to assume that this was a re- I didn't see an email about it or announcement or anything, but I have to assume this was a reissue because they felt like they made the other one too dark, so I don't know if I kept that one or if I put it in a prize box. Now it's like, so now I really hope I kept that because that makes that pin like a rare variant screw-up version. Anyway, so yeah. If you got the heavyweight box, you got all that stuff. If you got the cruiserweight box, you didn't get the elite figure, the t-shirt, but you still got a bunch of good stuff. And if you got the, the pill lapel package, Pam, that was your pin for the month. Uh, very cool. Very cool, that wrestling club. So as you know, we rate our boxes on uh, three categories. Curation, exclusivity, and value. Curation being the items chosen, how they relate to the theme of the box, how they relate to each other, uh, how they represent the properties they're chosen to represent. Exclusivity is how exclusive are the items in the box? Is it just a bunch of crap you could go get at Hot Topic? And value is, is it worth the money you paid for the box? On curation, uh, I'll give them a solid 8 out of 10 all day. Um, I don't think there was like a cohesive theme to this month's box, but it was all really well-chosen stuff. Great autograph, fantastic t-shirt. It's really cool that they did the figures, the elite figures in the heavyweight box and the basic figures. I know a lot of people were asking for more action figures from subscription boxes. Uh, the pins are fantastic. Even the little art print to like accompany the figure was, was well chosen. So the stuff they chose is great. 8 out of 10 on curation all day. Very solid. Uh, even, even for lacking like an overall theme. Um, exclusivity. I will give them... Uh, I will also give them an, uh, an, eight, an 8 out of 10. 8.5 out of 10, I think. Yeah. Because, I mean, the again, the, the figures are not exclusive to the box you can go buy these uh but for the value that you get buying the box like the figure alone almost gets you the value of the box then you throw in the t-shirt the autograph and all the extra stuff and you're getting and you're getting great value so um it's a it's a cool item to to put in there uh so i will give them an eight and a half on 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 uh, exclusivity all day value uh I'm, i'll give them a 10 out of 10 on value all day because that's that's a lot of value man just for the figure and the t-shirt alone it far exceeds the val far exceeds what you pay for the heavyweight box and then i've talked about the value of autographs before and what that adds to it and all the great little and you know we got an extra pen too so now you have two if you didn't get the original scott hall pen you have the reissue and if you did then now you have two you have scott hall and you have black scott hall uh which again i don't know if that's racist or not so anyway, yeah, 10 out of 10 on value all day. I continue to be very impressed with that wrestling club. It's a great box, great stuff in it. 
Um, I'm gonna wear that shirt on my uh, vlog today over on my Angry Rider channel. That's an awesome shirt. That may be one of my favorite shirts I've gotten out of uh, a wrestling sub box so far. Very cool. Well, I hope you all enjoyed that. Um, again, I uh, hope you all enjoyed Raw 25 last night. I uh, hope, you, hope you dug all the nostalgia. It was the first time I've enjoyed anything WWE related in a while. I'm tempted, tempted to get the Royal Rumble so I can see the, women's, the historic Women's Royal Rumble, but I just don't like giving WWE money. I don't like doing it. I have beef. I have grudge. I have deep-seated shit in me against the WWE that I can't let go of. Which is why it's cool that we get things like this in the box because I can get WWE products without directly giving money to WWE. Anyway, I will have more unboxings uh, later in the week. I've got my wrestle crate. I've got uh, the pro wrestling crate. I've got this month's Lucha Loot still coming. I'm going to be doing a new box, uh, the, the wrestling box. It's a smaller box that I found on Crate Joy. I thought I'd give it a try just for the heck of it. Um, if you did not see my announcement about the monthly prize box giveaways I'm going to be doing on this channel, I'll include a link to that video below, but that's the thing I'm doing. I'm going to be doing regular monthly uh, prize box giveaways uh, curated from all the stuff that I get in the, in the sub boxes. I did this month. The winner was Jose Espinoza. Jose, I'm getting your box out to you ASAP. February, we're going to be, uh, I'll be offered a new prize box and a new contest. So come back for that. Tell your friends. Um, in the meantime, like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment, let me know what you thought of the video, what you thought of the context of the box. Uh, I am Matt F. and Wallace, and I think I just heard a bell ring.